At Kanye West's birthday, he served sushi off of a naked woman's body. His daughter was there. And I guess it's based off a niche Japanese tradition called Nao Taimori. But David, the internet is debating how problematic it is. Yeah, this is going viral right now. I don't even know if this constitutes as Asian news or not, but the Asian community had a lot to say about it, maybe because it involves you know one of the most famous people in pop culture. Joining us to discuss this today is comedian Alvin Kwai. Thank you. What's up, everybody? I don't even know how this is even news after what he said about, like, Jews and black people. How <laughs> yeah. is this news? How are you still shocked at what this guy does? But it involves Asians. So the Asian, pe the Asian community wait, wait, feels wait, like we have a voice. Asians, whoa, we couldn't whoa, whoa, whoa. comment on that oh, one. Let's be clear. Does it involve Asians or does it involve a niche Asian tradition? I don't even know if there. Was, I don't even know if those women were Asian. Right. I and guess I if he would have had sumo a sumo match at his birthday too, that no, would have been. He didn't have Jiro serving the sushi. You can look at those rolls, man. Those are like dynamite <laughs> rolls and Philly rolls. That's not sashimi and and chirasi bowls. Yeah, yeah he uh, could serving Philly cheesesteaks off these naked women. <laughs> he could have got more advanced with the sushi and the execution. To be honest, that was the most disappointing uh, part to me. Part to me. I was looking for the Yeezy reinvention <laughs> of Nio Timori. But anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Let's get into the comments section because from silly to serious, I'm going to more put this on silly, but everything Kanye does just generates, you know, internet buzz and people like talking about celebrities like it's serious. Somebody said, seems kind of dehumanizing to me. I don't think it's the kind of party his young daughter should be at. Just my opinion. Proof that money doesn't buy class. Yeah. Clearly he just watched the art of war movie with Wesley Snipes and Sean Connery. Yeah, uh, I guess initial reactions, guys, when you see, without knowing the background of this niche tra uh, Japanese tradition, I guess, like, does, is this, I mean, is it look like maybe something that, you know, maybe he shouldn't be doing? No, I think it's, I think it's fine. I mean, if you can't serve sushi on naked women, what is, what is America even here for? That's the American <laughs> dream. You know, well, you can just do I whatever do, you want, right? That's what I do comedy is to do that eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so actually the background of Nio Taimori is, I believe it's been around since the 18th century, but it was more reserved for like samurais who came back to, I, th I believe it comes from the brothel world. So it's definitely rooted in some type of like, I guess misogyny or at least like power dynamics with a man, yeah. you know, has power of the, but, but it, I'll say this in this party, these are hired models. Okay, they got No, paid. this is from a Nayo Taimori company. They trained to do this. Um, this was really big in the 90s, Andrew, but some people said they associated with new money or like trashy money or like sort of like the decadence of the Gordon Gecko era. Right, sure. is this kind uh, of like uh, in music videos where people would pour crystal or champagne down a woman's like chest or like, you know, and then you drink it. Like, you yeah, know, but, I've seen it before. But dude, I, I don't think this is demeaning at all. I mean, these women are making money just laying down. They're laying down. They're not doing anything. What, what's, a, what's a better life? I like to. That's true. No, I mean, they, yeah, that is true. They're yeah, I mean, let's be honest. Do we think Masayoshi's son has maybe done Nayo Taimori before? I mean, this is still <laughs> around, guys. Clearly, there's multiple companies. You can get a Yelp review for Nayo Taimori. Somebody said, "Isn't he a Christian?" What happened to that whole Christian gospel uh, album thing? You know, I can't speak for Kanye. I know he did make one hell of a gospel album, but. Uh, yeah, you know, the world is just full of hypocrisy and just uh, a lot of confusing images. What's a man liking titties? That's like the most Christian thing you could he could do. No, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, it's, he's, it's he's so concerned. Strange. Michelangelo drew so many yeah. when he was yeah. drawing it in the Sisti, uh, in every type of mural. So you're saying there's titties in the Bible? <laughs> you're <Yeah>. not. <laughs> Eve's titties are in the Bible. <laughs> Uh, somebody are said, why are we hating? Uh, some people actually took people hating on this as like hating on Asian culture. I don't know how people fully drew that conclusion from it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Because well, well, some people don't understand that it is an ancient Japanese thing. Yeah. Right? Well, I guess it's not considered a super mainstream Japanese tradition. So a lot of people are coming out saying like, hey, I'm Japanese and this was a niche tradition, but it's not meant for everybody. So it's not like all Japanese people approve of this. I think it's misogyny. It does seem like more of a Yakuza sumo, you know what I mean? In the more bro world type of thing to take on. I mean, dude, doesn't this kind of go to show you that every society just has like different segments of it? Like, I'm sure there's a segment of Japanese society that would like to continue these patriarchal traditions because they're lit to them. But there's probably another side of Tokyo society that views this as like outdated, almost like a dueling uh, Alexander, what? what is that? Hamilton and Aaron Burr type of like duel. I got a question for you guys because so many people out there love Japanese culture and love where it's at now. But there's certain, obviously, Japanese traditions that people are like, no, 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 that's not good. But you know how like people are so fervent about Japanese culture and so revere it? Is this part of 
why in a way people revere Japanese culture, not necessarily this tradition. I could see why some people don't like want to celebrate this, but then the fact that Japanese even did this, it shows that Japanese can do so many other things. Japanese got a lot of funky stuff that is, you know, whether it's the hentais with the octopuses and things like that, that people find it like they really like to discuss it on the internet or in IRL. But is it even Asians getting upset? Like, I feel like the most, the people who are the most into Japanese culture, it's not even Japanese people. It's just like those creepy white guys who like walk around in like geisha robes, you know? <laughs> They're like skinny. You're talking about the weeaboos and the otakus and things like that. Yeah, it's always those guys, you know, have like hentai body pillows and stuff. The waifu pillows. Yeah, yeah I know the what you're getting pissed off, probably. All right, this comment talked about Northwest. So uh, Kim, Kanye and Kim Kardashian's daughter is only like, not, she's not even 11 years old yet. She's at this party, uh, and a lot of people are saying that's very inappropriate. But I will say somebody did reply back and say, hey, just so you know, Northwest life is far from normal. Well, somebody says she, uh, they were roasting Kim for letting her have a TikTok and letting her hang out with Ice Spice, but just both her parents are messed up. Or like, you know, some people are supporting Kim, some people are supporting Kanye. Yeah. I mean, I guess is it natural? Like people are supporting the parents in a divorce about who is less or more problematic to a celebrity kid. Yeah, sure. No, by all means, it's, it's going to be the naked sushi woman that messes this girl's life up. Not, not her, not the video of her mom getting pounded. <laughs> It's fine, dude. And also, she's a girl. Like, if it was like male, like naked, like naked, like men, that would be a problem. Just like mm. dudes hanging dong. But it's naked women. Like, I don't know. It just feels different. Yeah, I mean, listen, guys. Because she's a woman. The internet comments were all over the place, and you know, obviously, to a place that didn't even really relate to the initial issue. You could debate whether the initial issue is even worthy debating as the Asian community. But people want to be inserted into relevant mainstream TMZ news, right? TMZ doesn't co co uh, doesn't open up the discussion to Asian culture very often. So I guess we got to shoot our gaps when the gaps pop up. Ultimately, Andrew, what is your takeaway? Uh, my takeaway is like, this is a hired model. This is a company uh, that does this. And honestly, uh, if you think that this is misogynistic, then a lot of things are. Almost every single music video is, okay, so then we got to like stop having sexy women do anything on video, right? Whether And, and this is all, you know, people who decided to, to take the gig. Now, this is not something that I would spend my money on, and I don't necessarily think like everybody should do it, but is it well within the legal right of people to do? I mean, she's nah. making a living doing this. And it's a crossover between hip hop and sushi, just like when Drake said, you're my sushi roll hotter than wasabi, or when Future said, Nobu, 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 Nobu. This would be the third noteworthy event crossover between sashimi, sushi, uh, hip hop. Right. Um, I think for me, I'm just more disappointed in the execution. I thought Yeezy was gonna like reinvent you know what I mean? Like, I thought he, he kind of did it with, like, 90s looking sushi. You know what I mean? He did it, like, exactly like the Art of War. Maybe even, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of different versions of Nio Taimori. I looked it up. There's ones where it's directly on the skin, on a leaf, on a platter. Obviously, he did one with the granite platter. I don't know. I just thought Kanye could have even did something more doper with it from a design standpoint right knowing that it's kanye and this guy sees music in colors right that he should have probably i know this kind of supports the thing that kanye fell off his latest outfits look like weird robocop things he's shaving his eyebrow it looks like demolition man from you know Sylvester stallone it's like he's losing his creative powers man yeah his music's like not as good as he used to be so man. it just wasn't creative enough all right it was now, just like fitting in with what this guy used to hang out with teriyaki boys and nigo you know he's seen nio taimori like a hundred times i bet 50 times no i i think you either decide like because free the nipple is like that's that's supposed to be feminist you know but this is demeaning so you got to make up your mind is the titty out or in <laughs> you know all right everybody uh Keep it out. let us know in the comments down below what you think uh this isn't the biggest news we don't have to care about kanye and have to care about kim kardashian i think their child is going to be fine obviously she sees things in this world that are way different than what our kids are going to do see you think that talented. asians are just talking about this because it finally involved asian food right yeah i don't even think this food is made by a, a japanese sushi chef i think i don't know just, i saw a japanese guy putting it on there though or like an asian looking guy i don't know if he, he could be Fujinese, man. We don't know. <laughs> um, but ultimately, no. I mean, ultimately, yeah. Don't do this for your kids. That's fine. But I just also thought for a guy who based the original Yeezy off a of Yoji Yamamoto sneaker, he was going to do something more inventive with Nile Time already. If, uh, But, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do this at my birthday. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.